Last year, you testified at the state capture inquiry, famously calling Mr. Makhashule a blesser. What was it like testifying at the commission? Did you get everything off your chest? And were you ever intimidated? I knew uh, Mbambane. I knew him very well, the late Igor. Because I was in the environmental affairs in the department and I had worked also with many of these laws, I asked him a question if uh, he was registered uh, to deal with asbestos and he, was, he understood that there was a law uh, that uh, you needed uh, to, you know, things that were applicable in doing that. And he was saying, no, no, we are sorted. We have people at the national level and uh, we, we have all our... Our, 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 our ducks in, in the row and, you know, and there's a lot of money. He didn't mean we have our ducks in a row as in we are accredited no. and we can handle the no, asbestos. He, 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 he did not. And I said to him, uh, it was the reason why I refused to help, to say you can't actually get involved in this if you do not have uh, accreditation. He went on to say, uh, look at this, and uh, he, he, he took out a spreadsheet. And uh, that he was saying, look, the, all these people that are here, uh, uh, we actually, this is what we call cost to business. Uh, is and, that uh, where the AM was on? That was all the names that uh, he, he put. There were names, a number of other names. Others were written uh, names properly. Who is AM on that spreadsheet, Mr. Dukwana? In terms of what he had said to me, he said AM meant Ace Mahashule, OM or Limlam Lady. He mentioned a number of things and they were there. The problem with, with what we are dealing with uh, is these people are not stupid. And we have seen people getting money in envelopes, in, uh, you know, in, in bags, etc. They just get cash. What was it like testifying before the Deputy Chief Justice? If you if you have you not creating you know lies, you you need to if you you know you inventing lies you need to remember. Uh, but if you know what actually happened, there is no need for you to remember. It happens, it it comes. So to me, it, it, it was like you know. You relive in these moments that uh, that happened in the province, and I felt like uh, it was not me. Uh, I was just a vessel expressing the frustrations uh, of many people in the province, and any person could have done that. Uh, and uh, it was not because I was braver than many others, or or, or you know. Uh, that uh, I was the only person, there are many, uh, but uh, it happened that I became that voice. And uh, so to me, I knew that I was, I was not doing it for me, but uh, I was just being a messenger of uh, the people in the free state. How has the party responded to your comments? Have you been ostracized at all? I have had so much support. Uh, it's unbelievable that uh, the support and the encouragement uh, that I got from my colleagues and many other people who some did not even know me at the time. Uh, of course, uh, you had a few, uh, you know, uh, people who, who do not know me. In some instances, I, I, you know, some people referred to me as a gambler. Uh, that I gambled uh, my money, etc. I, I don't drink, but I was told I'm a drunkard, etc. You're one of the few people who has openly criticized Mr. Mahushule and called for him to be arrested and go to jail. Do you or have you ever feared for your safety? You never know, you know, about these things. I've seen many people die in the province, many people. I refuse to, to live in fear. I'm not going to hide and, uh, and, and be fearful because that's what paralyzes many of us. I was fired as an MEC. But when I went to the legislature, his girlfriend was uh, responsible for, for members' uh, upkeep and all those things. 
I did not get a, a, a phone, I did not get a laptop, I did not get a, a tech to get a parking, parking space and, and no office. So I was just squatting with people and not getting anywhere, I was not deployed anywhere. So I felt that I was not uh, being utilized and I was going to get a salary for not doing anything. But ultimately, they would find a way of uh, uh, firing me. So the best way, I then uh, uh, resigned as a member of the legislature. So uh, I, I felt so much relief when I, I went out of that toxic environment. Peter Louis Myberg's book details dealings in the free state, calling it gangster state. Are we in a gangster state? It is. It has turned out to be a gangster state. It's a mafia. If you, you, you know, with the dawn in control, you don't agree with the dawn, you are out. You must be free to track your mind. This is how the ANC has taught us. I have not seen during my time in the free state a gangsterism that was busy corrupting government. I have seen people getting into houses. I have seen people getting wet. I have seen business people being helped. I have seen children going to school. How people are so cruel. You accumulate so much, you get your kids get so many of these. And while other kids, what they do to them, they give them 5,000, go and disrupt a meeting of the ANC. They are booted out of these programs to make way with, for Ace's daughter, for his brother in, in Paris, for Sisi Tombela's children, uh, for the children of uh, Joey Mochela, who is the former mayor of um, Paris, and a whole band of other politically connected people. These kids uh, get into boardrooms, uh, you know, sign tenders, big uh, business uh, ventures, and these ones are just uh, exploited. People go in and talk about your RIT and the so RIT, etc., etc. There is a resolution about a radical economic transformation, etc., in the ANC. For that to happen, you need a party that is well oiled, that is united, etc. That's the responsibility of the Secretary General. Is the energy there? No energy there, nothing. But RIT, yes, radical doing what? We serve the entire South African community. But we don't forget where we come from. The force that has become this idea of radical economic transformation that Mahashire still preaches today. When you consider that he talks about RET as this thing of, you know, they are ensuring that, um, you know, the unequal playing field of the past is eradicated and black businesses are promoted. But meanwhile, it is just a ploy to ensure that his own family and the families of other politically connected people are enriched. Look at Saudi. How do you steal money and how really as a black uh, company, uh, you're not building any infrastructure, you're not building anything. You go and buy 35 uh, uh, big cars for what? Uh, and this is not representing our aspirations as, as black people. We are much smarter than that. But these people are creating an impression that we are these corrupt individuals, we had less, all we need is money and do what is happening. The Guptas were um, able to spend 30 million rand on their wedding in Sun City because of the Free to Dairy project. That is money from the Free State Province's fiscus from the coffers that was diverted to people close to Mahashuri. He doesn't give a damn about black business people in this country, let me tell you that. We thank him as the father of radical economic transformation. You must give the opportunities to become business people, but not greedy business people, business people who will think about those who don't have. I think Ace must face, his, uh, face the music. He must face his time also and answer to a number of other things.